BD5 pilot with you uh, on a Thursday afternoon out at the uh, Hillsborough Hangar. And yes, it's day seven of No Shave November. And I'm out here messing with that uh, cooling shroud for the engine again, but uh, I've ordered some different NACA ducts. So I'm about to open a package and we'll find out uh, how these are gonna work. So there, I've got the tape cut. And what's in here? It's a uh, AC, APR carbon fiber NACA duct. These are the type one ducts. And nice, I've got a sealed package that I've got to open up. So uh, let's get those cut open. So, you notice I'm not really uh, showing any one-handed cutting with that knife. I gotta cut a little bit of tape on this and then we'll see what that duct looks like. So here we go, got that opened up and hey, that's kind of a nice looking uh, looking apparatus. Let's go see how it's gonna fit on the plane. And um, we're gonna use an angle here and I'm gonna show you why I'm using that. Using that angle. Look at that. That's gonna drop that right down into the middle of there. Let's see if I can hold my mouth right and get this done. So right along, and that'll empty right into the top of that duct it looks like so I can design these to take that on but uh, why why would I do that so there's the duct three inch opening and it goes right into that plenum without me really even having to baffle it it's going to go right near the center so it's going to be in the right place for dispersing the air over there but uh, you're asking yourself why does he have it at such an angle the reason for that angle has to deal with uh, a picture that I have of Gordon Johansson's BD-5 that shows the exhaust uh, stain going down that engine cover from where he uh, his exhaust exits right close to this area. And I can see the wind angle that's uh, created because of the aerodynamics of the aircraft. So it's not a straight on shot. I have to angle that neck and duck downward to correctly get at the airflow. And there's a... Uh, one of the styrofoam covers made to look like the engine cover with the uh, NACA duct kind of trimmed out so it fits in there, feeds into that uh, cooling chamber. And there's the uh, real first look at what that'll look like with that little uh, teardrop NACA duct sitting at that, uh, that angle on the plane. Of course, that'll be a polished piece of aluminum, but uh, pretty cool. There's looking right down into it, so I gotta just design the top of that uh, that uh, enclosure for the uh, engine so I can baffle the wind out over the uh, cooling fins of the engine properly. Viewed from the inside, it looks like this, but you can see how now I really don't have anything in the way. I've, I'm completely clear now for uh, getting at the uh, belt drive. When I put the drive system in, uh, easy to inspect now. I can actually just put an inspection plate that I can open and take a glance in there, make sure everything's okay with the drive system and doesn't interfere with the uh, exhaust system either. So very happy with that. And no, I'm not going to make the one for the other side, at least not right now. Um, I'm going to head home, relax, and be ready for the weekend uh, when uh, my no-shave face will look even worse. BD5 Pilot is out for now.